for the side of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on in November. This is going to be for the for the fourth week of November 2020 for the sign of Capricorn. What is the overall love energy for the sign of Capricorn? Just remember the top cards. Did you see they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading? I have listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, King of Wands, and it's with the hanging in. Now, the King of Wands, it's actually a very caring and protective type of energy. It can indicate a man who would have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. This person, they may want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is positive. Even when it's not representing an actual individual in your life, it can signify that you might have men around you who are generally supportive of you and think really well of you. So you'll be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. Now, it's with a hangman. The hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroads, one with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is to do or how to do it. So, if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, and things. Because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice that you make, it will open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interests by being willing to change. So basically the recent past energy between you and your person, King of Wands clarified by the same man. So I'm getting that there was this person that you're, you're dealing with. You had, you cared a lot about this person. Yeah, you might, you might have felt like, I don't know, in some ways that you needed to protect them. Because the King of Wands, like I said, it's about a, a protective type of energy. Someone who cares. And this is how you felt about your person. But your person, they left you confused a lot of times. Just stuck in your head. Not sure. In or out, up or down, yes or no. It could have been that you need to let go of an outdated attitude or a wish that you had been holding on to. Or maybe let go of attempts to control a certain situation. Because with this person, you cared a lot about them, but they left you confused a lot of times. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. We got the Devil card and the Seven of Cups for you and your person. Now with the Devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it, it will be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Now, sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. 
But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling of being in control, even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they are important also. So it's with the Seven of Cups, which is a card about choices. It does indicate confusion. Disorganization, having too much going on. So there's a need to narrow your focus. When you get this card in a reading, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one. You could start to feel overwhelmed. Yeah, with all these choices. Seven of Cups. So basically, what's coming up for you, you and your person? Devil card clarified by the Seven of Cups. So like I said, you're dealing with someone who you, you care a lot about. But they leave you so confused. A lot of times you don't know what to do. Or what to think. And it could be because of this devil card showing up in your reading. Now, the devil card, it can be about addictions, toxicity, toxic energy, toxic behavior. Addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, jealousy, obsession, sexual loss, alcohol, drug abuse. Could be a number of things or something on that level. Devil energy, toxic behaviors. Yeah, so it's um with the Seven of Cups. So you could have been dealing with someone that kept their options open. Yeah, so they might have had a lot of choices. They kept the door open. And then on top of that, they had addictions. So no wonder you were confused. Yeah, addictions, or maybe just some devil type of energy. Yeah, so with all those options and devil energy, yeah, you, I bet you were confused. That can be very emotionally draining. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Ace of Wands and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now the Ace of Wands, it can indicate new beginnings, very positive ones. The Wands, they're in the realm of accomplishments. They could be related to work, career, family, or romance. And if you're having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better soon. It's about being up upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you could be feeling quite energetic and positive or you'll be feeling that way soon. Now it's with this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups indicates a moment she could be very helpful to you. She reminds you to bring love and compassion in your work and to other areas of your life and that's even possible even even if you work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your world. With this Queen of Cups showing up here. Yeah, just know whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, those are two of the most loving energies in the deck, in the tarot. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. And what's in the cup? Love. L-O-B-E. So, uh, Capricorn, they're getting that either your person with this toxic or devil energy with all, and they have so many options. They could be, um, if you're not dealing with them anymore, they could be trying to reach out to you, offering you a new beginning. Or they could be wanting to have a fresh new start with you. This person is just showing that they have love for you. Mm 
they have love for you or they want to offer you love. And if it's not this person that's, that left you so confused, the person you cared a lot about, it could be someone new coming towards you. Or maybe somebody that you already know, other than this person that, that has all this devil energy. So yeah, and it's going to bring a new beginning. Or this is someone approaching you, wanting a new beginning with you. Now, let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Page of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, this Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. In this case, it will represent a person who's younger than you. Because when you hear the, page, when you hear the word Page in the tarot, that means student, youth, immaturity, someone younger than you. It can indicate that the, there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. Because... It's a page, and this page, he has a huge sword in his hand. Yeah. So you might feel like this person is pushing too fast, trying too hard, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language and, cons and consider how well you do or do not accept criticism. Now, it's with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a very heavy burden. Because if you can see the picture of the Ten of Wands, it's the card below the word outcome. This man, he's walking forward with all these wands, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you might want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So basically the outcome, Capricorn, yeah, like I said, you got someone new coming towards you, or you could be thinking of someone that you want a new beginning with, because the person that, that the that's what this recent past energy, this person, uh, they left you too confused. And then they had, they had, they kept the door open, they had options. And they brought some devil energy or toxic behavior to the connection. You cared a lot about this person, but you could be wanting a new beginning or someone wants a new beginning with you. But it's interesting, it's a page, though. So, you might think this person that's coming towards you is too immature. So for some of you, it's this same person from the recent past. Yeah, they might be trying to get back in your good graces. But you're going to feel that the that it would be too difficult to deal with this person again. It's going to feel like you're walking forward, but you're about to fall backwards. Yeah, you're going to think they're too immature. Whoever this is trying to offer you a cup. Like I said, for most of you, it's this person with the devil energy. Yeah, you're going to think it's just too much, and you're going to think their their offer is immature, or they're too immature. So that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. I didn't know what you know. Readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorns, I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. 
Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Yeah, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person or the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or a situation. Take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are person these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Capricorns, I can never say enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a, I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.